What's up guys? Today we're gonna do a van tour, expedited van tour. This is the longest and the tallest sprinter that they make. It's a 170 wheelbase extended, not just a regular 170, extended. Extended means still has another foot right here after your 170. So inside, this beast is 192 inches long. 192. Let's take a look inside. By all means, it's not a show vehicle. It's not a, something that, you know, you put in front of people and get ratings for or anything like that. It's a work van. Work van, guys. So when you guys are rating this, consider that it's a work van. It's practical, basic, that all, you know, has all I need. It's insulated everywhere. I've got inch and a half foam right here. I've got inch and a half foam all over through the ceiling. I've got, you know, insulation in all the doors everywhere. And I have blow-in. I did a foam, foam blow-in on the sides, everywhere, everywhere on the sides, everywhere, top, bottom, everything. I do carry ramps with me, four-wheel hand truck. That's needed. I do a lot of basic, I do a lot of specialty loads. That's not just your basic stuff, lift gate service stuff. Keep my straps in here. I've got carpeting throughout. I just have to add a little bit more to here. I figure out you know what i want to do with the doors if i want to keep them that way or not gloves broom each rack go all the way to the front got my fishing stuff fire extinguisher really needed this box i put over here box is needed over here in my opinion because i can actually fit a 54 inch long pallet by 60 wide in here so i can fit a small straight one pallet that would go in a small straight truck in there before the wheel wells stick it in the back that's why i put this over here it's out of the way it's under my bed you know i keep all the things in there i got the toolbox over there uh i've got curtains in the back and i've got curtains in the front so i can close myself off i've got a roof vent over here i'm gonna redo this throw this one out it came with the van i'm gonna put a different one in i've got my heater over here it's a Chinese diesel Webasto style air heater. Works really good. The control for it is right there. My bed goes up and down when I need it. Uh, it's a 54 by 75 inch bed. Uh, obviously lengthwise I do not fit in it. So I kind of sleep kitty corner and then my feet don't really, you know, my toes don't hang off, but you know, I, it's it's built for two. Holds two people really easy. I like to have a big bed. I can fit two pallets before the bed, and two pallets can go after the bed. So a total of four pallets can be fitted in this van, 192 inches long. So six foot tall in a door opening from the floor. Two right here is 72 inches. So six foot tall. Let's go to the front basic very basic it's not clean in here uh i am actually waiting on a load i'm sitting in a parking lot so you know pardon me i didn't detail the whole thing or anything like that i've got the you know my travel bag slash whatever holder keeps everything kind of organized right here rides with me in the front got a little pouch here basic things go here uh back scratcher you know one of these things this energy doesn't always work if you want your blood pumping you got to get outside and do push-ups um very basic it's a 2015 sprinter um you know you guys that own the new ones 21s 22s 23s you're gonna say oh that looks like crap hey i don't care what it looks like i don't care what the dashboard looks like as long as the van itself drives doesn't break down and brings me money that's all i care about i have one of these on the seat driver's seat this actually i don't know if you guys know but if you don't keeps you from sweating in the summertime really good so you got breathable you know between you and the seat it's breathable so your back is not sweating your legs your butt and all that stuff so it's kind of a sweat proof type of thing everything else is basic um you know I don't use that navigation. I've got a navigation right there. Phone holder here, phone holder there. Magnetic 
pretty simple. This thing's got almost 180,000 miles on it. So far, no problems. Uh, doesn't have a def system, doesn't have a DPF system, doesn't have an EGR. It's got a complete delete, complete reprogram. You know, very, very clean vehicle as far as, you know, all the stuff that you don't need. I consider that not needed. It is a Freightliner. I know the front says Mercedes and in the back it says Mercedes, but title says Freightliner. It's a Freightliner. Previous owner just had Mercedes tags all over it. He loved Mercedes. He had Mercedes, you know, even here. He had Mercedes there. All that stuff is Mercedes. I hope you guys, you know, liked the little quick tour. This is it. If you want to build out your van just like this, go ahead and do so. If you have your own ideas, you can you guys can write them in the comments, but that's my quick tour. I still have to add some carpeting here, like I said. You guys take care. God bless.